Mira. Hi. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing very well. Um, so before we begin, I just wanted to do a quick check-in with you. Um, because the last time that we met, we came to the library and you picked out a bunch of books that you really liked. Um, so, and you also told me that you wanted to read four pages a day. How do you feel like you're doing with that reading goal that you set for yourself? I'm doing all right. Can you tell me more about that? Well, I don't really have time to ever read my four pages. Like yesterday, I didn't have time because <clears throat> I wasn't allowed in the kitchen because my grandma was working. And that's where my books were. And I was just not, I think, three pages a day would be a good. You think changing your goal down to three pages would be better? Yeah. Okay. Um,. What do you think if maybe you ask grandma if you can read your four pages like just and be as quiet as a mouse in the kitchen while she's working? Do you think maybe grandma would be okay if you sat beside her and just read silently to help you reach your goal? Yeah. Wait, did you say that would you... If, would your grandma maybe approve of that? Yeah. What do you think yeah, grandma would say? She would be like, if sure. you're dead silent, yes. Yeah, because I feel like if, grand, if grandma was com was confident in you being quiet, then she would probably have no problem with that. So maybe we can talk to her about it together when we get back to the house. What do you think? That's all good. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything else that has happened since the last time that we saw each other? Anything interesting that you read or have you I like every single page, but on the first day, I thought that I could read two pages in the morning, two pages in the afternoon. Okay. And then I never ended up actually reading my two full pages in the afternoon. Well, maybe it could be part of your bedtime routine. Maybe you could ask grandma, instead of having the things in the kitchen, gonna... maybe you could have them only in a book box in your room by your bed, and it doesn't move from the book box. Yeah, but the seat gets in my room all the time, and, and, and I have no places that she can't get it because she can reach every room in there. Okay, so you're worried about the dog getting it? No, my grandma is. Oh, grandma is worried about that. Okay. Well, maybe we can talk to grandma about it again and see if she has any ideas. Um, did you do any journaling? No. Oh, I didn't gotcha. have time for that either. Well, that's okay. Um, you know, journaling is definitely something you could do before bed at night. That's when I like to write in my journal. Like what happened? Yeah, like just something fun that you did during the day. Um, if you, you know, like a fun memory or a funny joke. Sometimes when you get older, those things are harder to remember. Like, you can't remember a very specific thing that someone said. But if you write it down that day, then a couple months from now, you can look at it and you can remember a really nice moment that you had with somebody in your family or with a friend. I knew a joke I'm going to write down. Well, I meant like you could write down a joke someone else told you. Or you can write down your own jokes. That works, too. And then you can laugh that day and laugh when you read it again. The jokes, ju the jokes just keep on going. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what we're going to do today. So first, we're going to kind of review the strategy for decoding words um, that we were practicing last time. So when we, when I came last time, we were looking at words that had different syllables, and you showed me that you were really good at breaking them into syllables when you heard the word. Um, so then we moved on to um, breaking up the words into syllables by drawing boxes or circles or underlining different parts of the word that help us to read it. So like this one, we broke it up into three parts. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then we scoop our finger underneath. Fantastic. Fantastic. And it helps us to decode it. That one was obviously easier for you. So I decided to give you some harder words. Um, so, 
I'm gonna, instead of us writing on these words today, I gave you some fun blue Play-Doh and we're going to use um, a little tool to write on the Play-Doh instead. Okay, so let's stretch the Play-Doh out really far because we have to have room for this first word. What if it breaks? Well, we can just, it's okay if it breaks. We'll just try our best. Maybe next time, instead of making it a circle like a pizza, we have to make it like long. But, okay, so I want you to write this first word right here. Can you copy that for me? So just write it like right across the middle. Like, because we're gonna, we're gonna break it up and cut the plate up when we're done. It's okay, they're just playing over there. <laughs> we'll break it up in a minute. Oh, you know what? I think maybe I should have done the first one. <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to show you how to do it first. Here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I made a mistake. All right, we're going to roll it out. And we're going to flatten it across. So this is what you're going to do with the Play-Doh when it's your turn. Because I, I was... Because the laptop wasn't working a minute ago, I got a little bit flustered and I forgot. <laughs> okay, so here's our first word. I'm going to copy it. P-E-T-T-I-C-O-A-T. So when we look at this word, do you see any miniature words that you know already? Pet. Okay, so we are going to take this and we're going to cut it right at pet. So, pet. And then, do you know any other word in here? Tick. What about C O A T? Coat. So, we're going to cut coat as well. So, then we have our three syllables right here. So, pet, T, coat. Pet coat. Petticoat. Did you ever hear that word before? Did you ever hear that before? No. Well, so now we have a strategy. Even if we don't already know the word, we can look for different parts we do know and put them back together. Let's do one more together, and then you can try one. So I rolled it up like this and I'm going to make it flat and stretch it long so that it's easy to write right across the middle and cut it into parts. Okay? So we did petticoat, which is something, it's like a little skirt that you put under a dress and it makes your dress poofy. That's a petticoat. Invitation. You already know that word? I just read it. <laughs> Okay, why don't we try this one then? So, can you copy it? Intolerable. <laughs> How about this one? Disintegrate. Okay. Let's write it together. And we'll break it up into syllables. Okay, so dis in in te disintegrate. Hold on. Great rat. So you can help me break it up into syllables this time. Because I think I cut it. So dis would be the first one. In, in and then what's this? Great. Disintegrate. 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 
disintegrate. You know what that means? Yeah, it means like if you put if you put like a paper it. towel in like a liquid, it will disintegrate. Yeah, because it can break apart and then disappear. So dis in to great disintegrate. So you were saying the um, syllables the right way, but you, or you were pronouncing it the right way, but you weren't putting the accent. You were saying disintegrate, and it was making you not recognize the word. So if that, so what we can do after we break it into syllables, we can repeat them and blend it back together, like you said, disintegrate. And you're like, does that sound right? Is that a word that I know? And then if you're not sure, you can try it a different way like we did. Disintegrate. And then we heard it and we knew exactly what it meant. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, now it's your turn. Here you go. Your turn to have the Play-Doh. So... I would like you do were to do this one. Antiseptic. Okay, you already know that one. How about this one? Do you know that one? I tried to find hard or words like or fourteen. Fourteen. Let's try that one since that one's giving you a hard time. I, I saw you moving your lips to try to say each syllable, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, and it looks like that strategy really worked for you with antiseptic. Right? I just looked at the last part and I'm like, that's antiseptic. Yeah, antiseptic is something that you put on like a wound so that the yeah, germs don't grandma, come in. That's what grandma puts in people's arms when he gets all his burns. Yeah. Okay, so it might need to be a little bit longer for this long word. Or? Alright, so here you go. Wait, no, you had to write it. <laughs> Are you making that for a perfect L? Yep. Okay, here's our word that we're working on. And Amira is going to try to use the strategy. So she's going to start with writing each letter. Try not to carve it all the way down, otherwise when we cut it, it's gonna, it won't like peel up the right way. So push it gently. So can I rewrite that? Sure. I'm gonna go grab my drink really fast and you can just copy the letters on the Play-Doh and I'll be right back to help you decode it. to be perfectly neat because we're just going to smush it up in a minute anyway. Just hold it like you would with a pencil. I can't. It's okay. Remember, it doesn't have to be neat because we're just going to smush it <laughs> in a minute. So just write the letters. As long as you can read them, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to be neat. I can't. Just write your letter A. I can't. You want to flip it over and try again? Yeah, but that's nice. There. Okay. Just relax. Maybe you could use the pen. Maybe the pen would work. Is that working better? Yeah. Okay. I don't care if you get Play-Doh on it. I don't need the pen. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger so that it's easy for us to cut out.
There we go. I'm glad we were able to find a tool that worked for you. So now we have it and we can cut up the little pieces of syllables. So, or, or would be the first one. Name Natalie. Hmm. Well, let's take it mm -hmm. one piece at a time. So like cutting up words in the middle doesn't really help us, but if we have a word at the beginning or a word at the end, that usually helps us pronounce it. But like name or, in this word. Mental. Here, so or, and then what would the next one be? Name. Na. No. And name then mental. here we see a word. Or, men. Or, ornamental. Yes. We can break. Can you pull it apart? Mm. Or, na, mm. men, tol. tol. And then we blend it back together. Or, na, men, tol. Sweeping our finger underneath each piece. Ornamental. Now, do you know what that means? Like, there's an ornamental music box on my desk. What do you think that could mean? Decorative? Yeah, decorative. Like it's for decoration. Ornamental. And you kind of know that it means that it's de for decoration because ornament is in there and ornaments are used to decorate a Christmas tree. So that gives you clues about the word. I didn't mean to smash it all up. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Let's try um, a couple of, a couple other words, and then we can get started with our writing activity, okay? Do you know this word? Identification. Identification. Did you break it up into syllables when you tried to sound it out? The first part, and then I'm like, I den. Oh, identification. Identification. Yeah. All right, how That's about, um, <laughs> how about this one? Okay, without sounding it out, or don't try to sound it out yet, let's just um, use the pen and we'll write it in the Play-Doh. Okay. P. U. B. L. You got it? Oh, yeah. I, C, A, T, I, O, N. Okay. So now let's break it up with the knife. Oh, you wrote it so tiny this time. Okay, so let's break up the beginning into the first syllable. Pa. Hold, hold on, wait. Is, there's a word there, P-U-B, that's like, you know, C-V-C. Pub. pub, yep, we can cut it right after pub. Or you're using, the, you're using the back of it. Pub. Here, hold on, don't say it yet. Pub, and then L-I-C. Lick. Public. A. Asian publication. Publication, do you know what that means? Like somebody, somebody was in charge of the publication of this book. Oh, where it goes. When you publish a book, you print it so that people can read it. And so the public, no, you're fine. You're totally okay. Um, so publication is the job of making sure that the book gets published. Okay. All right, how about one more, and then we'll start with our writing activity. Can you flatten that out? I should just sit on it. That's easier if I sit on it. Okay, which word? Huh? Oh, you're throwing away your lollipop. Um, 
Okay, let's flatten it out, make it long. I know. And then we just have to do And then we'll just have to do our the rest of our activities off camera. Um, because my phone is not cooperating. Okay, so which word would you like to do? This one on the bottom here or this one on the bottom here? Don't read it. Don't read it yet. Just pick one. Let me do this. The right one? Okay, so take the pen. Aluminum? Nope. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it's not aluminum. All right, aluminum. so L. Make it really nice and big so we can cut it. L. I. N. O. L. Oh. E. U. M. M or M? M. Like a monkey. Did you write it? M. M. <laughs> okay. So. Len. Why? Len. Le. Lynn? No. No. Lee. Mm. Oh, M. Oh, then we can take it apart, right? Oh. Le. Here, you take it apart. Le. Mm. No. Lynn. Lee. Lynn Lee. Um. Lynn Lee. Try it again. Put your face, touch each one when you say it. Lin, no, Lee. <laughs> um. Lin, no, Lee. Um. Linoleum. Linoleum. Did you ever hear that word? Linoleum. Linoleum is um a type of flooring. Linoleum? Um, like that. That's linoleum. Yeah. And so we remember that when we see a word that we don't know, we can break it into syllables and sweep our finger underneath each of the syllables that we find to blend it back together. And then at the end, after we've broke it into pieces, what do we do? We mm. say the whole word and see if it makes sense to us. Scoop under each. And we scoop under each syllable as we blend it. Great. Okay, so we have three minutes left. Let's get started with a thought web. So, do you, did you think of any of those words? If we just have one word that we could pick from our list, yeah. is there any word that we could make a story about? Like, not so many this time. She got identified. What about this one? Does that inspire oh. you? Invitation. Invitation. Do you want to write a story about that? Mm -hmm. Invitation. About a time when, um, when a character would have to send an invitation? Yeah. It's okay, so then let's start with a thought web. Before I write, I always like to make a thought web. I already know what I about well so then let's let's create it so who is the story going to be about this girl and her birthday or you can write about yourself no I've was there ever a time that you had to send an invitation or receive one i've received one but i don't want to write about that you don't want to write about it yeah okay so what's our girl going to be named Great. michaela michaela okay wait no Wait, I'm gonna think of you. How about Mia? That's a nice name. Mia Slavic. Let's see. Um, maybe we could create her name afterwards. We'll just put girl in the middle, no, and we'll write down the other ideas the first, and then when Mia. we write, we can come up with her name. I'm just gonna do Mia because I don't know the thing. Okay. So then we're gonna draw an arm out from the thought web. Oh, I'm like, like a real. And then what kind of occasion is there going to be for the invitation? 
we can write down what our a ideas to party. guide us. Okay, so a birthday. We'll write that down. Is it coming back to you how we did this last time? Yeah. Okay, so birthday. And then now we can write some things that are going to happen. So another arm. Who is she sending or receiving the invitation? Friends. She's giving out the invitation. She's sending them out to her friends. Okay. So why don't we write and she's two. 13 years old turning slash 14. Okay. We can definitely write that on one of the arms. Um, and we can put two friends. Two. Then we know that she's sending them to them. We're not getting them from the friends. Oh, I actually... Oh, <laughs> I meant T-O. Uh, but if you wanted to have her invite two friends, that would be fine, too. Yeah, let's do two friends. So they're not bored at the party? Two friends would be more of a, a better party? I just this guy. Yeah, like, just in case she did something and then she didn't know. The other friend could do something she didn't know. And then okay. And the other friends. Then they just could be. Sure, you can write that down. Two friends. It's going to be at her pool. Oh my gosh, let's write that down too before we forget. Make another arm. And then on that arm, we'll write pool. So now we're, so as we look at our paper, we can get an idea of where we're going to go. So it's a birthday party, there's going to be two friends there, and it's going to be a pool party. And then we can come up with the other ideas.